Ah, <sighs> you know what I hate about some first-person shooters sometimes? The matchmaking system. I wish there was an option you could turn on in any matchmaking game, any first-person shooter, any game like this that puts you into a lobby that you can't join in the middle of a game. Because you just, you just don't, you're not on your game. You just don't have your mojo going. And no matter, ooh, ooh, I don't even know where that guy is. Ooh, glitch a little bit. But no matter what, you're just not, you just, you have to get in the feel of the game as soon as it starts or it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. There's one guy. But, anyway. They just, it, Call of Duty does that a lot. Overwatch has been doing that recently. Ooh, that's a double kill. That's a double kill. Get him. There we go. No matter, oh, ooh, ooh. But every, every map, I feel, look at this. 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 Oh, if I die right here. There we go. But every map I feel like I've played since Black Ops 1 came back. Wow. There was two RC cars right there. Since Black Ops 1 came back out for the Xbox One, I feel like it's always been Summit. Like, that, that's either always an option or I'm always playing on that map. And don't get me wrong, it's a great map. It's like a classic Black Ops 1 map, but, you know, give me some variety. Give me some variety. Oh, I just got a message, text message, iPhone. What do you guys like better, iPhone? Do you like Android better? Because I, I've had both, personally. I switched to I switched to iPhone, like, probably, oh. Switched to iPhone probably, like, I don't know, like a month ago? Not, not a month ago, probably like four months ago. And I gotta say, it's ten times more smoother. The service, like, I cracked my phone the other day, a couple weeks ago. And I got a fix at the Apple Store. It took them an hour to fix. I mean, granted, it cost me a while. But no, but the thing is, like, when they put the new screen on it, they, like, the calibration or something just didn't, like, didn't work with the iPhone. So, like, they just gave me a brand new iPhone. I have a 5S. I don't want a 6. I don't want a 6 or 6S or whatever, 6 Plus, whatever the numbers are now. But they just, the calibration for the new screen wouldn't work with, like, the touch screen or something. So they, they were just, like, whipped out a brand new iPhone 5S form, and they were, like... Uh, it's gonna cost the same thing, and I was like, dude, okay. So I was like, heck yeah. So I took that, and I just found that service was awesome. The Apple Store is so futuristic. It is so futuristic. Like, they have drawers blend in with their walls, and their doors blend in with their walls. Everyone knows what the Apple Store looks like. Like, no matter what shopping center you're in, the center of that shopping center is always gonna be the Apple Store. And that's the exact same thing where I am right now. But... I like when I when I was on Android. Don't get me wrong, Android. I feel like Android has some better apps, like a little bit better apps, like for my taste. Like they have like a Game Boy Advance emulator you could just get off the App Store. But for I think iPhone, you have to unless I'm wrong. Unless they came out with this. If they came out with this, tell me. But for iPhone, you have to like jailbreak your iPhone or whatever iPod Touch or whatever you have to get one of those emulators. And I don't want to go through all that. I don't want to go through all that nonsense of jailbreaking, because even. When I was at the Apple Store, they were helping me out, and they were like, yo, if we find any uh, third-party software, like, jailbroken, then we can't do this. And I was like, dude. So, I'm just glad I didn't jailbreak my iPhone. But I feel like Apple is just so much smoother. The iPhones are so much smoother. And I feel like, you know, in my opinion, with everything the Apple's coming out with now, I know, what, Android has that new, like, VR or whatever. I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. But, you know... I don't, I don't need that in my life right now. I don't need that. I don't need that. God, we were winning this game. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. I'm doing pretty good this game. I came in and we were dominating. And I came in and then... I came in, I came in, I came in, I came in. I came in. I came into the game. Did not see that guy. But I came in. Like I said, it's like six times. And now we're getting smacked. That's okay. There's somebody around here. There's a care package back there. Oh, there he is. Look at that guy. What is my teammate doing? Get that flag. Oh, man. Where is that guy going? Oh, this is bad. Where is he? Whatever. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, oh there we go. Suppressor marksman. Yeah. What, what was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, first person shooters need to work on their matchmaking system. I'm sick of joining in the middle of games. And I'm sick of joining people who are like, either make it so that like, I don't know, you have an option to turn this on, but you play with people who are similar to your level. Because like, if you're playing, 
what if you just got Black Ops 1 and this is like your first Call of Duty? Which is very unlikely. But I don't want to be in a lobby filled with like 50th, not 50th, 15th prestige people. Like that guy just killed right there. I don't want to be in that kind of lobby. Give me a regular lobby. There's there's a lot of wrong with first person shooters and they need to fix it. I need to, they need to hire me. They need to hire Double T Gaming. I will make them, oh, la la. I will make them feel so much better. Get that guy. We need to start capping some flags, please, teammates. I feel like he's about to come around this corner. Nope. This is really the Call of Duty I miss, though. Like, just the sounds of this game. I know I made a video. Got that guy. I know I made the video, like, everything wrong with Call of Duty. What about everything right with this Call of Duty? Just the atmosphere in this game. Like, when someone got a Blackbird, you knew, oh, man, that dude just went on a streak. But now it's like, oh, man, that dude just uses whatever the tactical suit whatever i don't know what it's called anymore like your ripper or whatever that thing is called but there's just i know modern warfare 2 had a lot of that nice sounding stuff i never really got into modern warfare 2 i had a couple of friends who played mw2 like religiously and who still want to play it but they just can't but oh my god i don't know shut up don't tell me reconnect my controller i had a pretty solid game but we, we were winning when we got in. Just some people don't know how to play this game. It's okay. It's okay. I love you guys.